let's uh, start uh, with the basics and uh, kind of from the beginning. So could you tell me a bit about uh, your band, Gola, and, you know, how and when did you start? Yeah. So what about the name of Gola? So from Ukrainian language is tra- translated as uh, naked, like being naked. Uh, but um, so how we invented this name, let's say, uh, well, almost all of us in the band earlier, uh, we were relatives, like a family. Yeah. And we had uh, like the surname like Drigola. So it was a part of our surname. So we just left it and created a band like this. Uh, actually, almost all of our musicians inside our band, we have experience before Gola. So, for example, me personally, I started um, being in a band uh, maybe like 2010, something like this. And um, then we had interruption. And uh, after this, we started uh, playing music. It started after the war began, actually. So we um, met in 2022 and if we are talking about goalers you can hear us and see us right we are right now so we started since 2022 uh and uh, currently we have four people in our band so all of them are with background um playing in another band before like this how was it to start the band in such a difficult time um actually no it was experience uh, that we uh, create and write music in our homes like we don't uh, usually go somewhere to record in studios so we have uh, like some applications on our computer yes some appliances and we are trying to do it on our own that's why the first uh, song actually it was released even without musicians like we um had me and guitarist so he uh, uh wrote the song i wrote the vocal and he uh, did it like he played all the instruments on his own we made it in a home and um so it was a kind of not leaf let's say release <laughs> so it was played of course leaf but um uh, without all another participants here of the band and then uh we created one song then another song and for us it was you know a kind of maybe distraction from what is happening here right now so music for us is mm, a big motivator to move on and it's part of uh, life that always have been in us even during the interruption in our music career let's say and uh, then we started, why not, to gather together. So we called uh, our musicians who were um, also we called a new person. So and we tried to gather like in a live band to have a live session. And uh, the first uh, rehearsal for us was uh, also in 2023, actually. Uh, so kind of a little bit more than a year ago. Uh, we tried to play something, we liked it, <laughs> and we decided why not trying to do music together. So, and we just started, it was like, you know, um, some like inspirational step <laughs> for us playing. And we just started and we are moving on and we have a lot of ideas we want to create, to share them and move on. <laughs> you mentioned that uh, everybody has so. Uh already a background in music and in uh, in different bands, I guess. So uh, how would you describe the music of Gola in your own words? What kind of music do you play and how do you mix all the, all the different backgrounds? Uh, you know, so first of all, all of us, we don't have like musical education. Yeah, so we all, let's say, amateur musicians, but we have this experience quite long for creating something. And we don't have... Um, you know, this like genre that we, for example, stuck to it, yeah, and uh, we want to play music only like this way. No, even uh, when another people ask us, what do you play, actually? It's hard for us to answer because we do not concentrate on it. So how to call like uh, the genre, yeah? So we like different music. Uh, and what is important, every uh, member of our band likes different bands. And that's why when we create something, we just... Uh, have this indicator like we like the song okay it would be we don't like we're trying to change something so that's why we would say that we are playing like rock music yeah but the genre 
um, some people so who also wrote something about us, they write that we uh, do alternative metal. Uh, some write that we are doing classic metal. So um, I think, it, 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 you know, it's when you look at the picture, so the beauty is in the eyes of who you seeing. So you just uh, see what uh, you think it should be. But we are not concentrated on the genre like this. As you said, you are creating together as a band. So where do you draw inspiration for your music and lyrics? Uh, you know, we just draw inspiration from, from real life, from what is happening right now. Uh, and of course, we have like favorite bands. Yes. So if we are talking in terms of bands, again, all of us have different tastes. But uh, in general, we like music as Chain Down, for example, is playing as uh, Nickelback. Scale storm and uh, so on. So we like this style more. And what about the lyrics? Usually, I write lyrics for the songs, and we are writing about um, situations which is going out. So we have some songs which are related to war. We have some songs which are related to um, society in general. Yeah, and problems which can be, for example, one of our songs is called. Uh, uh, the Rosley Sweet, so it's uh, translated as um, the world of adults, yeah, and we uh, talk in this song about the problems, let's say, which people can face when they become adults, not kids, so, and uh, uh, you understand that the world sometimes can be quite crucial, let's say, yeah, and um, it's not always easy to have like a straight smooth pass in your life and so on. So that's why topics just generated from what we see <laughs> and we do it. As you said, you started the band after the war began. Uh, how does that affected you playing live? Uh, how is the atmosphere being on your concerts? Uh, you know, what about the atmosphere? Usually almost all of the concerts, they are always in the context of what is going on. So like, uh, we don't want to play music, you know, just like separately, just, just for being relaxed or something like this. No. So usually all of the concerts, they are uh, crowd uh, yeah, fundraising. So we do crowdfunding uh, for military. So also all concerts that we play, Usually, so all the money we uh, send to this purpose. Uh, what about the people? You know, as we see on the concert, people want this distraction like a little bit. Yes, because in everyday life, we are always in this tension and this news. Yeah, we always have sirens every day. We have this attacks with drones, with missiles also every day. So, and uh, uh, when you're living in this almost for three years, I would say that we are a little bit get used to it. It's quite maybe a, a hard to say, yeah, like this, get used to it. It's a bad thing, I think, to say, but it's the reality. And um, such events, they just help people like to keep their cycle <laughs> stable, you know. And also, as I see, quite often people from um, military, yeah, or for example, medicals who also work yeah, and helps military, they come to the concerts and they, um, again, for them, it's a kind of way to uh, forget just for this hour, yeah, what is going on. And we are happy that we can give uh, people this opportunity, yeah, to um, just rock a little bit, yeah, and, and for this hour, think about right now so this part of time not about what's going on but the purpose is always to help uh, military so we always do crowdfunding on the concerts how do you see the state of uh, ukraine's rock and metal scene under the war like how did the scene welcome a new band when you started uh so when we started so first of all we had a big interruption and when we started, I would say that it was like a new story for us, a new beginning, uh, totally for sure. And what about the rock scene? So currently we have less, of course, festivals, we have less events, uh, first of all, due to safety. For example, we had a lot of uh, festivals which are open air and currently it's quite uh, 
you know, dangerous yet to do such events with a lot of people. That's why we have less of them. Uh, we had a few big festivals, uh, so which are in Ukraine, but of course they are under condition of, you know, we have shelters where people can hide and so on. Uh, so we didn't have opportunity currently to be the part of big festivals, but we um, performed usually in our city almost always, and we had a few concerts outside of our city. So we moved to some cities of Ukraine, to different like rock clubs, yeah. And um, what about in general? So rock is going on in Ukraine, even in this situation. So as I see organizations here different, they are trying to uh, help uh, bands. So like trying to create events where they can perform. Uh, usually, again, all of these events are crowdfunding. Yes, so we are doing it for military purpose. And uh, I hope and I believe that the future of Ukrainian rock scene is bright and we will have more and more events which will be performing in Ukraine and maybe in future not also in our country but abroad. Let's go a bit more deeply into the music of Gola. Then uh, you have been pretty busy this year with uh, single releases. So if we could just uh, go through a couple of songs, like the latest one called Offline, could you tell us a bit about what this song is about and the creative process behind it? Uh, yeah. So this song uh, Offline is about you know like distraction of people from reality. Yeah. So when a lot of people are going online. And they started to live uh, not their own life, let's say. And uh, this song is a kind of monologue of a person which is trying to get off of this system of social media, let's say, yeah? And um, uh, um, like feel the real life. So the song is about this and uh, how we created it. Again, um, we do everything on our own usually. Yes, so only the last step of the song, like mastering process. So there is a person who helps us. So uh, we wrote it quite uh, quick, let's say. So usually we do music quite quick and usually we do it in the form of releases so like singles yeah so we do not think about doing um like you know albums or something like this why because uh, no one knows what will happen tomorrow yes so that's why we do not have big plans let's say for like a year ahead so we are living right now so we have ideas so we are trying to realize this idea yet yeah, to get it in real and um, uh, so that's why like the last song the topic was like this and uh, usually all of our songs this year they were about uh, like you know different situations in life for example one of the song of uh, it's um, uh, translated as in the darkness so it's about uh, people so when you don't understand where to go yes yeah? so you think that everything is like so bad so you see only the darkness in front of you you don't know where to go but you always have to remember that you have a light uh inside yourself yeah the light like the god that can help you to go through all these uh, situations and uh, so we are trying to give a little you know a little light in our song so i usually i always i don't want to write about very uh, like dark topics, you know, especially for rock music, usually um, it's okay to write about something like this because uh, the style so tense, yeah, to express emotions, to express usually uh, the darkest uh, side of personality usually. But also I believe that rock music can express the light, like how to um, like give this light to people through uh, hard and dark music like this. So that's why we are concentrated more on such topics. That's uh, very interesting. Uh, what about another single? Then I don't know how to say the uh, Ukrainian word, but I guess it in English it means the void or something in that effect. Aha, aha. So it's like emptiness, emptiness. Emptiness, yeah, yeah. So yes, emptiness also, it was released. Uh, uh, so the main topic is that sometimes you can feel like emptiness inside you, yeah, due to different situations. Uh, 
Um, but you can overcome this <laughs> again. So all of our mm, songs, they are about overcoming bad situations, not concentrating on bad situations. And uh, um, so this song become quite popular among another our releases so it was more popular uh, than another one uh, maybe again because people like tend to hear it like something that can help them overcome yeah like uh, bad situations in their life yeah let's do one more song i guess the time uh, uh is an important song for you because you also released the acoustic version of that yeah, so time, yes, it's an uh, important song. In which way? So it was the first song which we created uh, together with the band. Uh, and this was the song we started at first playing together alive. And the main idea of this song, it's like time. Yeah, it's translated as time. Um, that um, you have very limited time in your life. You have to do what you like to do. Especially in Ukraine, you know, all people and me personally, we have this shift in our minds after the war began. Why? Because we had a lot of plans, you know, like all people. Yeah, you think that you have this, like, you know, you see yourself when you will be 60 years old and you have this plan step by step how to be there. And then something like this creates and you don't understand well, how the situation would be. I remember this first uh, um, days when we just uh, heard, yeah, so we heard the first measles bombing here somewhere near our uh, city. So we uh, heard the news and it was shock for all people. So it was, you know, chaos, like the first week uh, for sure. And uh, I remember myself, like I was sitting, I didn't know what to do, like putting my hands in a backpack yeah, and going somewhere, but where we didn't understand. So what's going on? And um, from that time, there was a shift, like uh, a lot of things for us, they just lose the importance, you know? So what we thought was important for us, it started to be totally unimportant. And this uh, um, situation, it was, you know, a kind of, eraser of unimportant thing, things in our life and we started to understand really understand that we have limited time for doing what we like and you have to spend your life for this not for waiting for something and also i think it was one of the reasons why we started to play music again because we like it and we don't want like to wait till we'll, we'll be 60 years old and we will be uh, good enough maybe to do something. So we just decided to do it because we like it and not wasting our time. And this song uh, is for all people. So with this claim, like people, <laughs> our time is limited. Please do what you love the most in your life today. Don't wait for the best times. And um, <clears throat> why we decided to make acoustic, you know, uh, it was again spontaneous de decision. So usually in our uh, way, we don't have very strict plan, you know, like, for example, aha, we want this song, and if it would be successful, we'll make something with it. No. So it was spontaneous decision because I also personally, I like acoustic music very much. I like classic music, like piano music. And uh, I had this inspiration just to create something like this, an acoustic version with classic guitar. And that's why we did it. So, and... Um, this song due to uh, like lyrics are also quite um, ph philosophic for me personally and that's why we decided to do this song like this as you said uh, you are now releasing singles and not making too much of a long-term plans or planning on album but uh, how do you see the future of your band the future of course we want to play music as much as we can <laughs> and then uh, the future will show how it would be uh what about albums with uh even it's not even due to political situation i think that uh, currently we live in such a dynamic world you know that the albums maybe it's uh, the case of uh, big stars of the bands who are already famous and it's okay for them like to release uh, an album in a year or two and then making like a worldwide tour. Yeah, and while you are touring, you are making something new. 
for us, for example, so we don't have very much people yet who listen to our, our music. So uh, it's much better to get just a new song every like few months than waiting for two years yeah, and making 10 songs already. And also, as I already mentioned, uh, all Ukrainians are living today, you know, in this um, at this moment. That's why uh, when we have idea, we're trying to release it and to do it quick because we don't understand will will we be able to do it in a month or not. So that's why. What about the future? I just hope that uh, we will have peace in Ukraine as soon as possible. And um, all of us, uh, I think, not only. Like best, like all people, they have this part in this way, yeah, of having the peace. And also, we are very grateful to all countries who share, like, uh, for us some hand of help, yeah, in this, in different ways. So not also military, you know, even for example, like now, yeah, we have this interview, and we really appreciate it that um from another countries people they're interested yeah and they are trying to give support in a way they can give this support and um that's why we hope for peace for rock <laughs> for everyone and for happiness and so uh, we hope that it would be uh, the real life of all ukrainians and all people in the whole world yeah because uh, not only we experience diff difficult times there are a lot of people who are in in some bad situations and uh, we wish to everyone to be happy. So this is our main uh, target. <laughs>